new charges filed today against nine people accused of bribery. On your side, investigator Ron Regan is live on five outside the federal courthouse in downtown Cleveland. And Ron, this involves a local school district and millions of dollars. Well, that's exactly right, Lee. These court records spell it all out. And allegedly, everyone from a former school board member to a former treasurer of the school district was allegedly pocketing cash in exchange for doling out $3 million in school contracts. All of this to the tune of about $100,000 in kickbacks and bribes. Now, it all happened, allegedly, in the Maple Heights City School District. The district's former treasurer, Chris Christopher Krauss is accused of taking thousands in kickbacks, including a trip to Disney World. Sandy Klimkowski was a former board member who allegedly went on personal shopping sprees with the school district credit card, including a $1,400 TV for the treasurer. Now, she also worked for County Auditor Frank Russo, and you might remember last fall, she pled guilty to funneling more than a million dollars to Russo in bribes. Russo has not been charged with a crime. Meanwhile, today, the superintendent of schools in Maple Heights said he's cooperating fully. We're happy that, uh, you know, through cooperation with uh, the authorities that, you know, we're finally going to get to the bottom of what actually happened here and, you know, hopefully we can uh, get work through this and, you know, maybe if there's restitution that needs to be repaid to the district, we, you know, we're certainly hoping that that will, you know, take place. Now, in all, nine people were charged today, including six who were associated with four different local companies doing business with the school district. I'll have a lot more on this continuing coverage as it unfolds. Live at the federal courthouse, I'm investigator Ron Regan. Ron, a lot of interesting twists and turns in this probe. We'll stay tuned. Thank you.